What is going on everybody? Jollibee here and welcome for another World of Tanks replay on one of my favorite tanks actually, the T-59. It is a tier 8 premium for the Chinese branch and it's a very well-rounded tank. It recently got buff. Uh, we got more ammo which is nice. That's pretty much it with our buff, our most recent buff. Uh, we are currently playing on Karelia Assault. Not one of my favorite maps, but I am a top tier, so I'll take it <laughs> when I can. Because getting top tiers nowadays is pretty hard with the recent matchmaking. Since we started on uh, Northern End, we're going to be pushing up the 9 and 0 line. Hopefully we don't get too contested by their heavies. Looks like they have no top tier heavies. They do have a KV-3 and an OI. So they do have a pretty derpy team going on. And from the looks of it, that M4 Jumbo will most likely be um, um, a derper also. I like to play my Jumbos as a derp gunner because then you pretty much multi-purpose because you can pretty much damage even higher tier tanks with your derp gun. Um, as I was here contesting what to do next, looks like they're not contesting the north end which is odd because this is one of the key points that you should be holding if you're in a defending side. So look at the mini map looks like they are pushing their s the west south line the one and two line and our A43 won't be able to stop them all. Our team setup is wild. <laughs> so I got to say to that. Uh, A43 is alone, RD is alone, middle is being capped by mediums. And surprisingly our TD the Ferdinand is pushing with me. Here I noticed that the Oni is pushing, so I decided to help him push also. So he peeks first, hopefully they'll shoot him, not me. And luckily the ISU 152 is looking the wrong way. So I guess keep pushing on. It's taking a snapshot, but missing of course. I do have a two skill crew working on the third group for this tank. So here I just want to get into cover so you don't want to stop in the area where I am the A6 and 7 because that is a death trap. That's no man's land. You don't want to stop there. So I'm just pushing and I thought the Oni was pushing with me but no he just stood there. So now I'm taking unnecessary fire from the T3485M but we got him taken care of so now I'm just going to spot these three tanks for my team to kill and looks like now finally the Oni and the T49 T29 is gonna push to help me. Um, looks like the Ferdinand and the T3485 will be covering us. And from the looks of the mini map of course the 1 and 2 line fell that means they're gonna be swooping in from the south. Uh, looks like at least our middle t medium campers are paying attention. So I was hoping that the RD would get the 152 but since I know he's stunned, he should have bad stats with his current crew right now. Here I'm taking a chance by re-peeking again but I got lucky. So now we just have to deal with him before we get surrounded. So we take the final shot on that and the T29 should finish him off. And I'll push forward and try to get this KV-3 which is pretty dug in. Uh, he has a pretty decent turret. Uh, I don't really have a good penetrating gun and I don't really want to use my gold rounds yet. Uh, WZ fake tank. Um, from the China TD line popped up but he was taken care of by my team. 
I'm more worried about what's coming in from the south by their flag because I see the Pershing, the T-150 and the SU. So I try to finish his KV-3 as soon as I can and I notice that he's firing HE now knowing that he can't pen my turret. So that's not really a good trade off for me because no matter how good my turret he's going to do at least some damage at me. Uh, my t my teammate in the Cromwell died. Luckily, we took care of the SU-100. My main worry is the T-150 because that tank has a pretty good gun with a 300 alpha with a decent rate of fire. I know I can kind of bully him if I angle my armor and make him shoot my turret. So which I'm doing here right now, but. At this point, I know I kind of messed up because now I'm pretty much surrounded. The T-3485 can shoot me and I'm pretty sure that Jumbo should be having line of sight on me soon. And here I got lucky that I was, able, I was tracked right behind cover. So the T-20 couldn't shoot me. And I'm just right here surrounded, I'm panicking. <laughs> it's like, ah, there's a hidden T-3485 that I can't spot. And the T-150 did his best trying to flank me, but I know what he was doing. Finish him off. And looks like it's going good on our end. We finally got the game tied up after being surrounded and all. So right now I just gotta take it slow, don't make any stupid mistakes, and then I spot the arty and I use the T-150 as cover because if he hits that, then I should be good. And here I thought the arty hit me, and then I was like, wait, I didn't get stunned, and the arty shot second. So I know that was the jumbo that derped my butt. So here I was backing up get unspotted so the jumbo can't shoot me but he is trying and I had to let that art the arty go hopefully my t3485m will get him and we'll just see what happens and then I sp we spot the t3485 we quickly dispose of him. I know I'm spotted, so I'm just trying to not get derped by the jumbo. Luckily, he missed. Not the most accurate gun for a derp gun, like any derp guns. And I dunked that shot. I should have not dunked that. So I know I had to push this T20 so that the jumbo will have no more vision on me. Luckily, the T20 is using the stock gun, not having the the 240 alpha gun so I was able to survive that and here we had the jumbo left and I don't know how I made that shot but I'll take it <laughs> now my team rightfully chose to uh, cap but I advise them not to because it is the derp jumbo so all he has to do is splash and slightly damage the module then reset the cap and run away so the only way really we can win is, is to get rid of him. And we already know where he is so we, he can't really hide. So I tell my team to just go for it, kill him. It's the only way. And luckily he missed that. And I get to finish him off. And here you go, our quick victory screen. We got two bonds out of that. Uh, we got our steel wall, an ace tanker, and a top gun badge, and a bunch of other smaller ones. Not bad. I am using premium with this one with a 50% booster on the credits. So it got 182,000 credits. And for here, we, of course, we were number one, 3,300 damage, base XP of almost, well, 1,447 with five kills. Not too shabby at all. 
And after all that, I got 164,000 profit with all my repair and ammo costs and all the small kits that I did use. And yeah, pretty powerful round for me, though this don't happen too much. So don't expect this every round when you play this tank. <laughs> But on a good game with premium and boosters, you can make pretty decent credits on this. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, please write them down below or if you have any questions or concerns. And of course, if you did find this video enjoyable, please hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps me out. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Jollibee out.